the largest touring production in the world is coming to Calgary end of April, Ted. It's called Odyssey. It'll be in town under the big top at COP from cool. April 23rd to May 18th. They actually extended their run because of demand. We had the opportunity to go behind the scenes in an exclusive tour of the $30 million production. And you can see why Odyssey marries the equestrian arts, stage arts, and high tech theatrical effects. So think of Cirque du Soleil with the equestrian arts. If you saw Cavalia, this one is bigger and better. It is more than double in size. The white big top is the size of two football fields. It features 66 horses and 52 artists in a larger-than-life theatrical production. Now, the creator of the show, we had the opportunity to speak with him in Vancouver, Norman Latourelle, and he said that he intended to build on what he initially created with Cavalia. But what was your objective in moving the story forward? Well, my objective is to please the public. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I don't want to reinvent um, the world. I just want to have the public be pleased. Mm -hmm. And this is a feel-good show. This is a, whatever you're two years old or 102 years old, you'll just have fun watching it. Every show, you hear, uh, in the public, you hear, Ooh. Yes. And, and you don't know if it's true or not true. Yes. You don't know if it's part of the images mm -hmm. or if it's true. But when you realize it's true, then you get to see 16 fantastic courses. Now, he was a pioneer, Ted, with Cirque du Soleil. He has certainly raised the bar. As you can see on the set there, the hill is sort of built into a projection. So yeah. when the horses come over that crest, it truly feels like a 3D cinematic experience. But the horses, the performers, they're... It's live action, that's what it is. Uh, they're from all over the world, okay. the performers and the horses, Spain, Portugal, France, Netherlands, 11 breeds in total. Now, we were actually able to tour the barns, go behind the scenes where the horses get primped and prepped for the big show. So uh, they obviously work hard, but they're very well treated. They're happy horses. Yes, really happy horses and really <laughs> well treated. Um, every time we're moving, we try to find a place for them to get rest. So they have a holiday every two months. like. Um, nice pasture and everything. Yeah. And um, no, they're really, really good, good to get here, over here, and nice team. A great team, and you can imagine the team it takes to put this all together. No so kidding. five tents in total for the Odiseo village. The horses live in a climate-controlled stable tent complete with showers, a tack shop, and a tack shop, and a blacksmith department. Now between the stables and the white big top, there's a warm-up tent where the riders rehearse with the horses before and after the show. They're just so beautiful and so highly trained. I actually had the opportunity to do a little bit of Brady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My you. little pony moment. <laughs> uh, the area also includes wardrobe, makeup, dressing areas for the two-legged artists, the humans, and a Staff Kitchen prepares more than 600 meals I daily. Odiseo coming to Calgary April 23rd and running through to May. Certainly one to see. And you can actually buy a package where you get to go behind the scenes. Oh, and, and you can horses. see what you, you can saw. see the stables. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. There you go. Did you see Cavalia? I did. It was pretty wild. This show is basically what I wanted Cavalia to be oh. in that it's even that much more spectacular. So if you have a huge appreciation for horses and, yeah. and the technique, I think, you know, Cavalia would have been something you could understand. Uh, this show is just, it's amazing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh